Yeah, so hi Coach Haggerty, this is the, uh, the Sons of South interview. Um, are you ready for this? Yes, I am. All right. Oh, here's an interesting one. Would you consider yourself the best coach in New Hampshire? <laughs> uh, n no, I think I still have probably another 20 years before I can ever claim that title by any means. Um, you know, I've learned from many coaches, um, you know, some in the nation, some right here in New Hampshire, um, you know, and I think uh, ultimately uh, I know a lot of great stuff up here. I know my stuff when it comes to coaching, but I think it, it's, uh, I think it's going to be probably another 20 years before you, I can ever come anywhere close to answering that question in the affirmative. So I would say, you know, like as I am as a runner, I am uh, better than most, but not the best by any means. So. Ryan Haggerty started running in high school on indoor track at Merrimack. And really, he was not that great. He was getting double lapped by people, it was just a disaster. But then he ran over the summer, and he did cross country. And he started noticing remarkable improvements. He placed third at JV States and he won the freshman-sophomore two-mile in track. He broke his foot in junior year, but he bounced back for an incredible senior campaign, running a 16-minute, 18-second 5K at our very own Nashua South MOC course. Then, in 2009, he went right into coaching. Seven years later, he scores the head position at Nashua South, and he has been having a lot of great fun ever since. This team means so much to him. As a coach, he wants his team to reflect his values of hard work, dedication, and commitment. And it just so happens that we have a lot of hardworking, dedicated, and committed kids this year. He resurrected us into one united team, where we do pretty much the same things. Obviously, there are differences in abilities, which we recognize with placement on varsity or JV, but in terms of what we do and how we treat one another, we have become one team, the Sons of South. Last year, we were reborn. This year, will be champions. It always seems right. to be a natural South lead in the way. I don't know why.
How's your knee feel? Come on, Nadia, what are you doing? Let's go, I see. Let's go, Cliff. Let's, let's go, Keith. Come on, work each other. Let's go. I think it went pretty good, but I definitely had a solid advantage on the other runners with the weather. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Well, pick me up, golden hand. Oh, best sail, oh, best tell you to run. I'm over to see, I'm over to young. Well, I would like to hold. You know, when you go up a mountain, all the struggles of going up that mountain, you know, that's all the adversity you face in life and stuff like that. And the top of the mountain, really the goals that you have. And I think for us, you know, that's really, you know, getting to the top of that mountain, that's our goals. And everything we have to do to get up to the top of that mountain, you know, is really the adversity um, that we face. Yeah, does anyone know where I is? Well, what the I would like to hold my little one. 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 I would like We finally reached the peak of Mount Lafayette. It was no easy trek up the mountain. The trails were steep, narrow, and full of twigs, roots, and stones. Since we as a team had varying experiences with mountain hiking, we all went at different paces. It took the entire morning to make it to the top. But we were finally here. 
battling the bitter cold wind, we rested and ate lunch while witnessing an incredible view of the landscape before our eyes. Finally, it was time to announce the team captains for this season. As it turned out, Caden and Colby were selected by coach. Despite a convincing campaign, Evan was tragically denied the duties. For this year, at least. After the captainizing was complete, we began descending Mount Lafayette. Besides a brief stop at a small hut on the way down, and making sure everyone actually made it off the mountain, it was a pretty smooth trip back to the bus and back home. Kaden got it two years in a row. <laughs> now then Kobe got it. I thought I had it in the bag this year. I'm disappointed. I'm very mad. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> I really think it's 
No, it's too way too. That's fine. That's fine. Pause. I want to clarify this before it becomes used excessively. Yes, Kevin originated during an outdoor track workout last year. Following the chant, Yes, Kevin, from a girl he likes, Kevin's pace enhanced dramatically. Recognizing this, the entire cross country team now utilizes this clever phrase to encourage Kevin toward everyday excellence. Okay, we can resume. Who made this? You will. You will. I helped out. They don't what? They don't next to it. That's just rude. What the hell is that? That's naughty. What is that? Pull the hair up. Pull the hair up. Look at these. I'm taking him to the trainer. Oh, yeah. We can Yeah. This is what he gets. Let's go. Hey, you gotta go bike for 30. Everybody's favorite activity. Yeah, I start the daily yes, Kevin. Uh, today is August 29th, and today is our first annual Yes Kevin. It's the birthday party, birthday boy. Ah! He's only two years old. This is great content. Get us this piece of your Max. 16 ass slabs. Ass slabs. No, no, no. Max. 16 ass slabs. Ass slabs. Turn it up. Okay, do you need me to hold your hand? Trail me and then out watch it again. I want to go 30 seconds back. Hey! Coming up the first race, but we can't miss out on the annual. I mean, uh, my bad, not annual. Daily, daily, yes, Kevin. So here's your daily, yes, Kevin. Yes, Kevin! Uh, um, I don't know. Not really, last. Yeah, I guess not last. You know, I'm a bit crippled. There's some Merrimack kits that are kind of juicy, but I'm not gonna follow them. I'm gonna stay a bit back. So much rhythm. Race my own race today. And, uh, Joey, he's gonna run with me, of course. And he might, I think he'll out with me at the end of his six of the Alright, sorry, freshman. You always gonna get fucked when you die on. Yes, Kevin. Don't forget the daily yes, Kevin. You're not. I mean September, my bad. <laughs> I mean, I was mad. And, uh, it's September 4th, oh Wednesday. And here's our daily Yes Kevins. Yes Kevin! Everyone say Let's Yes spell Kevin. It out with yes, Kevin. Everyone, say Yes Kevin. Connor? I got my Yes Kevin. Just spell it out on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have enough people. You guys are too close to me. It actually looks good. Curve a little bit. 
Stick your ass out. Touch hands. You guys got to touch hands. What is this? One more, one more. You can't throw the S's and S. That's the ones that Hey, get down here. Second meet of our season. Here we are at uh, I think it's Sabi and Relays. Yes, it is. So here's the start, okay? It narrows up fast, okay? And as I always tell everybody here, you need to make sure that you get out because. Once you get to the top of here and you look right there, then you're like, I need to open my hoodie for a bit. I mean, I mean, this is the great part. Right here is the great part. Oh, shoot, I had a long sleeve. I'm not doing with the big one. I just flipped it. Oh, huge. I'm ready. Today I'm going to beat Connor Urban. Right, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good victory. We're going to have our energy. We're just going to come through this hill. We're going to go right down. It's going to be great. We're just going to keep on flowing. Keep on flowing with the energy. Right up this hill. Right on down. All the way through the finish. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good race. Can't wait. Going. I know you're probably exhausted after doing that big sharp uphill, but you gotta just keep on going, alright? You gotta be on your toes, you just gotta get up it. Barry Manilow music? No idea. I sing the songs that make the whole world sing. Watch the Copacabana at the Copa. Copacabana. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. So ready. I see a Port of Pony line. In front of the bridge. 715 today, maybe 714 if I feel good. Hey James. Hi.
I mean, it was yeah, kind of like... Yeah, I felt a little bit... Um, I felt a little like technical difficulties coming down the hill as uh, you know my tummy dropped, my tummy just kind of dropped as I went down. But when I went back up, it just kind of uh, it all came back and I kept going. But I did feel a bit exhausted. But after the race, I had all the energy in the world, so I guess the mission was failed. But we learned our lesson and we are ready to come back again next race. But Here right now, South Egan is a beautiful day. As you can see, the sun is South shining. Egan, not South, Egan. South Egan, yeah, whatever. The birds are chirping. Bir the birds are ablazing, and it's just gonna be a beautiful run today. We got the varsity getting ready to run over there. As you can see, we got Max, Yuho, and Keith. They're gonna, they're just gonna come out right here and just make their way down on this beautiful day. But we're gonna see how they're gonna do. I, I believe, and it will be a great race for them. So I'm very excited. Herb here is excited newest member of Nashville South. We are all ready for this race and we are ready to spectate. So thank you. So Mike, finish, finish. I mean, mine falls, you know, Gatorade water. Woo! This water.
Yeah, cool down, right here, it's a cool down. It is uh, August 9th, I mean September 9th, and uh, it's a typical day on the track here for South Cross Country. And here is our freshman right where he belongs. And in here, we have a little surprise, our star freshman. He's going to win MVP award this year, I think so. Yeah, and uh, it's kind of cute. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you never My forget cheeks. your ALS setting code. Yes, Kevin. I know. It is September 10th. That's Do that! That's movie content. <laughs> you want to just work out in that suit? Wait, do you have to wear that after? No. Or you already just wear it throughout the day. Yeah, so he can... Wait, but you don't need it for later. No, I can use it. Exactly. Wear that and wear that. Because we're real proper man down here on the South FC. Hey guys, it's September 10th. We're running cross country today. Yes. <laughs> Not much else, just uh, never forget been doing about seven miles, which is a mediocre cool down after a three mile race that we're going at race pace, don't you think? So uh, let's let's go over here to our first person. Uh, Dominic, is seven miles a suitable cool down? Uh, it depends on the temperature. Depends on the temperature, okay. Uh, all right, uh, Jason, next. Is seven miles a good cool down? Personally, I think it should be cool down. No cool down, okay. Uh, let's see who's next. Where's Kevin, bro? Hola. It is the day, September 14th. Here we are. You can kind of tell. Race Gathered up. Nice warm ups, you know. We had the merch drop come in yesterday. Kind of nice, kind of fresh, you know. Here comes Joey. He's going to run like amazing times, you know. Yeah. All right, anyway. But we have a problem. <laughs> We are missing one of our athletes. Uh -oh. Two. Oh. Two of our athletes. Oh no. But most importantly, we're missing Kevin. Oh Connor. You know that's a problem because without Kevin. Anyway, we we need to do the daily yes Kevin with Kevin here. But he's not here. So we're gonna have to wait for now, but don't worry, shortly you'll have to do daily yes Kevin. Guys, get up! Get up! Hey, where's the other song? Can you get Run! Oh my God! Go! <laughs> What are you doing guys? 
That's a call. Oh, yes, Kevin. Oh, my God. All right, now that we actually have Kevin here, we can do the daily yes, Kevin. So, I know. <laughs> They fell on me. Why are you getting it? Watch out, it's poisonous. Oh shit. It'll eat you. Hey, you should touch its fangs with your finger. I'm good. I'm just gonna have to run with Oh, oh. Okay, oh. wait. Alrighty. Oh, wait. You do? We're filming. Ice Okay, big Herbs here. Hey, 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 September 14th, yes, September 14th. Here, oh, September 15th. No, September 14th. Here we are. At the Nashua High School, try. I mean, no, wait. No. Hello, folks. Um, I am 90% of this movie so far. So it's a beautiful day at the Nashua High School. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
September 16th, spicy weather right now, sunny, beautiful, you know, it's the best. There's a so thick man right walking by. Day before race, we don't know who's running yet. It's at Dartmouth, by the way. Dominique, he's our, hey, one of our star freshmen. Yeah. You know, no, oh, 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 right there. Yep, Aiden Stevens, right there, another juicy runner. Oh, right there, David. I, I mean, not David. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, J Jason. 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 I always get it wrong. And then, uh, hello, folks. Here we are. Uh, at St. Edmunds. It is September 17th. And uh, here we are in Find It. And uh, as you can tell, we're all preparing. Or it's not all of us. It's not all of us. Would you blow me off and play me like everybody else? If I ask you to scratch my back, could you manage that? Like if we had you can trap me, I can handle that. Furthermore, I apologize for any skipping tracks. This is the last girl that played me left a couple cracks. I used to, used to, used to, used to now I'm over that. Cause holding grudges over love is ancient artifacts. If I could only find a note to make you understand, I sing it softly in your ear and grab you by the hands. Keep me stuck inside your head like your favorite tune and know my heart's a stereo the only place for you <laughs> my heart's a stereo it beats for you so listen close hear my thoughts in every note oh, oh. make me your radio and turn me up when you feel low this melody was meant for you to so sing along to my stereo If I was an old school 50 pound boom box, would you hold me on your shoulder wherever you walk? Would you turn my body up in front of the cops? Yeah, every yeah, time yeah. they told you to stop. And all I ask is that you don't get mad at me when you have to purchase Mad D batteries. Appreciate every mixtape your friends make. You never know, we come and go like on the interstate. I think I finally found a note to make you understand. If you can hear this, sing along and take me by the head. Just keep me stuck inside your head like your favorite. Kobe Martel. Yes, Kevin. You know what to say. 
Hmm? You know what to say. Yes, Kevin. Why do you have some rulers? I stole these. <laughs> oh, Silas is calling. Pick up. Speak your Hello, phone. Silas. Hi, everyone. Say hi, hi, Silas. Hi, Silas. Oh wait. Oh wait. Can I... Oh, how do I put you on speaker? Okay. Oh, I think I see you guys. You do? Oh, that's very oh he's coming. <laughs> oh, he's coming. What? He's coming. Oh, he's coming boys. oh no. He's right what? there. Oh no. Oh, close the door. Right. Get him out.
sat on those two slides. Come on, that's a good idea.
unnecessary rock uh, Running from the cop, uh, shooting at the up As it was time to leave, I noticed my keys are locked inside my car with an orange traffic cone in the front seat. I wait for my mother to arrive with the spare. Thanks a lot. Ooh, that's bad. Wait, let me see. Go back. No. No, the glasses, though? No. The glasses? I don't see it. Yes, Kevin. Yes. No, it's no Kevin. Though. What's wrong with this thing? Oh, yeah, cutie. What happened? There are boys. Hockey practice. Jason. As you can see, I don't want to tell you anything. We don't know what's going to happen to you. It's going to be a really good one. Yeah. Like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh -uh, uh -uh. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight. Since you're running. This place is too crowded, too many cool kids. Don't walk in front of me. It seems like one of those nights we ditch the whole scene. Yeah! Right back there! So you can get fast enough to unload me.
go. October 8th, here we are at the Nashville High School South track and field, beautiful day for cross country. I hopped up the plane at LAX with a dream in my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame access, am I gonna fit in? Jumped in the cab, here I am for the first time, look to my right. See the Hollywood sign This is all so crazy Everybody seems so famous My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kind of homesick Too much pressure and I'm nervous Cause when the taxi man turned on the radio And a Jay-Z song was on And a Jay-Z song was on And a Jay-Z song was on Put my hands up to play my song The butterflies fly away Now I'm in my head like yeah Moving my Taxi cab, everybody's looking at me now. Like, who's that chick that's rocking kicks? She gotta be from out of town. So hard with my girls on around me. It's definitely not a Nashville party. Cause all I see is the letter. I guess I never got the memo. My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. It's when the DJ drop my favorite tip. Let's go beat him, beat him! Chance to break 1830!
As Kevin battled Caden for the seventh varsity spot the day before, Colby fulfilled his position at the 59th annual Catholic Memorial Invitational in Franklin Park. We placed fairly well here, with all varsity members earning top 50 medals, except Colby. Max even reclaimed his throne as the top South runner, with a 17 minute, 32 second, 18th place finish. Yuho came in 10 places later, followed by Keith, Connor, Joey, and Mikey soon after. We then traveled to Faneuil Hall and had a delicious post-race feast from Quincy Market. I overpaid for lobster, but that's besides the point. We also watched some marvelous street performers. This was a great bonding experience for our varsity and senior athletes, with states just one week away. So, act three, you know, JV just finished their states. We saw some great performances. Evan McFlair sub 19, next year varsity. Right there, we got Keith. You know, he had a great, great race this weekend along with Connor. You know, might want to turn the camera around. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Two freshmen, you know, stars, upcoming stars right now. They're going to be key in our future. And this week, or next Saturday, we have uh, states coming up. You know, expectations. I'm just hoping to make MOCs qualify. That would be nice. But anything can happen, so, you know. Like, yeah, if it's a bad race, it's a bad race. Just, just kidding. I, I just if we don't make MOCs this year, not only was this season a waste, wait. <laughs> yeah, back to, back to States. We're gonna win, you know? I'm feeling a not bad PR. I'm gonna PR here. Wait, what? So, <laughs> not bad PR, what is that? I'm gonna run a sub 20 for the first time in my career, Darius, and we're going to MOC. I'll see all y'all here next Monday when we're training for don't MOCs, because we're about to win it all. Shout out to Coach Haggerty. He's the man. He, we can all admit he's made us improve so much this season. And without him, nothing of this would have been possible. Like I would say, he is the most important man on this team. He is what brings us together, leads the practices, helps us de <laughs> develop, and I would say because of him, I've improved the most in any sport I've played in my life. I've not played that many, but like, whatever. This isn't a sport. I've improved the most <laughs> in this sport, sport because of him. Sport? Because of no. what he's done for this team. He truly loves this team. And no! <laughs> he truly does love he's this team, Mikey. Me. And he is the one, he's the reason why we've improved. Like, we can all say we PR'd crazy PRs. So, shout out to him. We love our coach. 
Dish Washer throws the football and it's dropped as no one's surprised. Uh, so here we are at Nashua High School South Track and Field. It's a beautiful day. Uh, October 23rd. We're watching a very unrealistic thing happen right now. Yeah, Women are football. football. <laughs> and we're also eating lunch because it was early. What is this? But as you can see over there, you might want to turn the camera around. Yeah, there you go. Rose had the ball never actually is out of the ground. You know, oh my god, she caught one. Give them 100 points. Hey guys, it's our last practice possibly. Uh, also, yes, Kevin, and also. Ah! <laughs> Stop, Lico, Lico, you're gonna get me hurt. <laughs> Yes, they have an office. Oh, wow. That's a shoe. Oh, gee. Um, what should we do? Yeah, how should we do that? Yeah. There's a man. Yo, Kobe Craig, get that nice uh, ankle side to side comparison before everyone's going to before now. Yeah, for everybody else. Yeah. 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 So, Coach, what are your goals for this season? Well, I would say that for the team's goals this season, you know, ultimately I want us to get to MOCs, you know, top seven with MOCs, and I think there's really no reason why we shouldn't be able to get to MOCs this year. You know, we are the second largest school in all of Division One. I. I think for us not to be there, for us not to be here on our home course running, uh, I think is really uh, our ultimate goal. Come on, Keith. Let's go. Let's go, you. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yes. We didn't end up finishing top 7 this year. We didn't place 8th, or 9th, or 10th, or 11th, 
or 12th or even 13th. Some might call the season a failure. Some might call it a waste. Undeniably, the result was disappointing. But not only is the future bright, but so was the past. Eight seniors will soon graduate from Nashua South. They'll move on to pursue higher education at prestigious universities around the country or even around the world. And of course, they'll continue to run and spread our positive culture within new communities. This leaves behind underclassmen to fill their shoes as leaders and as dedicated and determined individuals, all working toward a feat bigger than themselves. They're going to give their best for this team, for their school, for their city, for their families, and they'll never give in to the mental pain that cross country can bring. We have all trained hard and will continue to progress further each day. Next year, we will prove that our potential can be translated into results throughout the season and at states. And we'll show New Hampshire some true competition. As for our seniors, well, regardless of where we go, what job we take on, or who we become, we will support every step of the way. And we'll always be Sons of South.